Hello everyone, in this video we are going to learn the manual therapy skill to deliver the shoulder posterior inferior mobilization with movement technique to regain the end range elevation movement. Now many a time it happens that after treating the patients who complain of shoulder stiffness, the patient's range often improves significantly but still there is difficulty in achieving and fully regaining the end range of shoulder movement. Now with this technique we can successfully restore the end range shoulder elevation and abduction movements. So let's get started with the practical demonstration of the glenohumeral posterior inferior mobilization with movement technique. So to deliver this technique the therapist is going to stand on the same side of the shoulder joint that needs to be treated and the therapist is going to take the patient's shoulder to the end range of shoulder elevation movement now let's say this is the range that is missing in our patients so now from here what the therapist is going to do is therapist is going to place one hand that is the hand that is posteriorly over the scapula while the other hand is going to grab the forearm distal to the elbow joint. The therapist is going to assume a wide stance and is going to kneel downwards so that the body weight itself helps in delivering a posterior inferior glide to the glenohumeral joint. Now after this glide has been delivered, the therapist is going to ask the patient to actively start producing the shoulder elevation movement with the glide maintained and this is how we are going to help the patient in achieving the end range shoulder elevation movement. So again from a different view the left hand of the therapist is placed over the scapula in order to stabilize it and the right hand grabs the forearm distal to the elbow joint and then the therapist is going to drop down the body weight and bend the knees to achieve this posterior inferior glide of the humerus and patient is going to actively try and achieve the end range shoulder elevation movement. The glide needs to be maintained until around 6 to 10 repetitions are performed. Very nice. The same technique can also be performed with the patient in the supine line where we have the advantage that therapist both hands can be utilized to deliver the posterior inferior glide as the scapula remains automatically stabilized with the treatment couch. Now again taking the patient's shoulder to the end range of elevation and let's say from here we have the barrier and the movement is not possible. Again, what we are going to do is we are going to use both hands. One hand is going to be proximal to the shoulder joint and the other hand is going to be distal to the elbow joint. And now again the therapist is going to shift the body weight from the back leg to the front leg and thus we are going to have this glide posterior inferior and then we are going to ask the patient to try the end range shoulder elevation movement. Do try this manual therapy technique on your patients and provide us your valuable feedback. See you all in our next video. Till then, keep learning, keep sharing and stay connected.